Marriage is reserved for one man and one woman. It's a teaching within the Catholic Church that comes from divine revelation. The Church didn't invent marriage. The Church isn't the author or creator of marriage. God created marriage back when he created male and female in his own image. So same-sex couples cannot receive the sacrament of marriage, but can they receive a blessing from the Church? We asked so Dr. John Grabowski, a professor of moral theology specializing in sexual ethics and marriage at the Catholic University of America. The only way I can really see a way forward here is if we find a way to say, well, we're going to give a blessing to individuals as individuals who are trying to live the Christian life. We are not blessing or sanctioning this relationship as such if we know that there are disordered aspects to it. Grabowski reflects on the topic in light of recent comments from a top church official. In an interview, the newly appointed head of the Holy See's Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith, Archbishop Victor Manuel Fernandez, defended the church teaching on marriage, but he also indicated it could be possible to impart a blessing on same-sex couples as long as there is no comparing or confusing it with the reality of sacramental marriage. Archbishop Fernandez said, if a blessing is given in such a way that it does not cause that confusion, it will have to be analyzed and confirmed. In the church, a blessing is categorized as a sacramental. The Catechism of the Catholic Church says these are sacred signs which bear a resemblance to the sacraments. They include a prayer and a specific sign, such as the laying on of hands, the sign of the cross, or the sprinkling of holy water. The Catechism states, Sacramentals do not confer the grace of the Holy Spirit in the way that the sacraments do, but by the Church's prayer they prepare us to receive grace and dispose us to cooperate with it. To the question, does the Church have the power to give the blessing to unions of persons of the same sex, in 2021 the Holy See said no. The Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith said it's necessary for a blessing to be given to what God has designed to be objectively and positively ordered to receive and express grace. The statement continued, for this reason it is not licit to impart a blessing on relationships or partnerships even stable that involve sexual activity outside of marriage, as is the case of the unions between persons of the same sex. But the question may not be going away, and Grabowski thinks it could be discussed at the upcoming Synod on Synodality in Rome, especially as bishops in Germany have shown support for same-sex blessings. I think the uh, folks from Germany will be undoubtedly trying to push this forward and, and put it on the table for discussion. But Catholic bishops from African countries will most likely oppose Germany's agenda. One vocal bishop from Kenya this year said the support of LGBTQ goes against the natural order, the natural order of beings. God created a man and a woman for each other. Last year, when asked about the possibility of blessing same-sex couples following the Holy See's 2021 response indicating it wasn't allowed, the Relator General of the Synod on Synodality, Cardinal Jean-Claude Olerich of Luxembourg, said, Frankly, the question does not seem decisive to me. And in a recent interview, but Cardinal Blaise Supich of Chicago said, we need to ask ourselves, what exactly does it mean to bless a union? Is it blessing a friendship, a non-sacramental union? We need to clearly define what we mean by that. I don't see that clarity in the church at this point. Meanwhile, Pope Francis provided this clarification regarding same-sex unions following the 2015 Synod on the Family when he said, there are absolutely no grounds for considering homosexual unions to be in any way similar or even remotely analogous to God's plan for marriage and family. Following the lead of Pope Francis, Grabowski believes if any theological development regarding blessings is produced, clarity must remain. If we're thinking about giving some kind of blessing, we have to do it in a way that makes clear we are not in any way seeing this as analogous to or, or you know, kind of like marriage. Um, it's not. Mark Irons, EWTN News In-Depth.